hello friends so i'm back again so today we have uh, we'll be seeing how to export data the requirement is pretty simple what i am trying to show here is how uh, are we going to export data uh, into flat files for a particular database so what uh, all the user tables involved in uh, all the user tables in the database uh, we want the data for from all of these to be exported uh, in a particular path in their corresponding flat files so that's the pretty simple requirement uh, so th I'll be showing this in two different ways so that we get to learn again two different methods and other important things here so uh, first what we will see is uh, BCP utility a BCP utility is a command a bulk copy command prompt utility which enables you to uh, export data from command prompt uh, by connecting it uh, connecting to the server and stuff so this is the command that uh, you can type on your command prompt uh, bcp uh, the database name and uh, the the table name the schema and the table name and you say out or in if you want to import or export data to or from a particular path and then you say c for characters uh, and then T hyphen T. If I say hyphen T, you uh, the by which I mean I am using the trusted connection. That is, while exporting or importing data, it will be using my current Windows credential to connect to the server. If in other cases, other instances, you can say uh, hyphen S if you want to connect to a particular server, and they then uh, you mention the server name dev, and then you say hyphen U and your user ID and then you say hyphen p and your password that's all you you got to say but i am using the uh, i'll uh, i'll be connecting to the default instances here and with the trusted connection so i just mention it here so if you type these things in the command prompt you should be able to export data now the next thing here i want to show is the xp underscore command shell option this is an extended procedure uh, which is facilitated in your SQL server by which uh, you can enable your SQL server to behave in a I mean command prompt to run command prompts uh, all the commands of the command prompt here in the SQL server T SQL itself so uh, for this option you should be sure that your uh, SQL server is having the server is having the uh, configuration server surface area configuration for the XP command shell enabled equals to true uh, without which you will not be in a position to use this option so we have this true in our server the next thing I want to show is the next thing I want to show you is just give me a moment The next thing I want to show is uh, your let's try and export this data. And if we say F5. path we have given this will be exporting the data and uh, in the form of a txt file if I go to my a folder I should be my virtual machine has hung I guess it's pretty slow here Okay. Yeah, we have this file. So this file again would be the data from this table. EMP underscore B has been exported. And you will get all the similar information that you get in the command prompt. So that's thing. And the next thing we want to see see is for getting all the user tables involved, you will be using this query to get the table name user table names so I have these table names in my uh, test DB database in my test DB database so uh, next let's start building the SSIS package with these options so 
what I do is I've created a project export DB data and I'm pulling in a sequence container and I say it as export data the next thing I do is I create a SQL task The name is get table name. Right. I create few variables. Remember the variable that will be ho uh, oh, okay. Let's come to it. I have to declare two variables of an object type and of a string type. Uh, I'll explain it as to why I have done that. Okay, so for the package itself, let's go to the properties and just remember to enable delay validation since we are building a dynamic package we don't want the prerequisite validation as it will happen in run, run time so I edit the SQL task first and foremost let me create a connection to my test DB okay next is I am going to get a result set of a single row that is a table name I write the query right I get the table names let's I full result set and then I pass the result set since we are getting the full result set we have to pass the complete result set of all the table names to the object type variable that we declared so we'll get it to pass table names and we'll say okay so we are good next let's see what we can do we will now loop get a for each loop connect R and then also you get a execute SQL task again right for a BCB data before we, we let's configure the for each loop Okay, so we have a for each file enumerator. Let's convert it to ADO enumerator and we want to enumerate it across the variable pass table and we'll get the rows from this. Let's map the variable to get table name. So each time it will get the values from the object type variable and pass it to get table name. So now get table name will be holding one table name each time till it loops across the entire tables available in the result set captured. Now let's configure our BCP utility. We again create a connection to test DB and do a BCP. A 
let me copy this and say and we have to first and foremost capture the table name and what we do is Right, so we are good here. We are dynamically we are going to build the BCP command. So now we have to pass the table name. So we have to map the parameter and say an input parameter is here available. So give me a moment. So let's pull the variable get table name of the type as and worker we see parameter name as 0 and let's keep the parameter length whatever it is ok so we are good and we see ok let's try to execute this package we should be actually getting it on our A folder deleting everything and let's execute it It started okay. And it failed. Let's see what is the issue here. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, we just forgot to initialize the value of path so we will say that equal to cache slash a Let's try to re-execute it. Right. 
let me see what the error is here Alright, so we have rectified the issue so, I'm just putting it as table name and I'm trying to run it now So it's looping across right so I think uh, it has completely executed so we get all the table names all the tables exported to our flat file uh, in the form of flat file to the path we have so again uh, that's the solution that's one way of doing things uh, I will be looking in the next video how to do it again in a different way uh, with the for the same requirement uh, with another SSIS package and again I would like to say that we can uh, make this dynamic as in the connections and all can be uh, passed on the DTS config var uh, variable format that is uh, in my last video I have I have talked about it and shown how when while importing data from Excel so you can have a look at that video for now uh, that's the part one uh, closure for this thanks a lot guys